Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel or have stumbled across this video, welcome. My name is Katie and I post videos every Monday and Thursday. Speaking of which, I hope you get the chance to subscribe to my channel before you leave today <laughs> and I am super excited to be filming this video happy Monday everyone and today we are going to be doing a different type of video and this is going to be my eyeshadow palette like high-end type of collection video so eyeshadow palettes honestly are my favorite category of makeup to purchase um, aside from like lip products, but I really, really do love eyeshadow palettes. I personally feel that high-end type of shadows are just so much, um, they're fun. I love palettes. I love collecting them. I'm a makeup collector as well, so I just really love everything that I have, and I just wanted to share with you guys my eyeshadow palette collection, specifically high-end. So let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see a drugstore alternative to this video as well. I have a lot of other drugstore stuff too, so um, yeah, this is going to be pretty much my high-end eyeshadow palette specifically, and without further ado, this is how we do it on Pretty Makeup On, and if you want to see my high-end eyeshadow palette, then just keep watching. So first up, we have one of the first high-end palettes that I ever bought myself, and I don't regret it one bit, and it is the Urban Decay Cosmetics Naked Palette, the first one. And I really do love this palette. I know you guys have probably seen this a million, million times um, on the internet, but I definitely think this is a very strong palette to have in any collection. I do wish there were more matte options in this palette, but nevertheless, I think this is a gorgeous palette to work with. It's a beautiful beautiful all around good versatile palette. I'm not going to go too in depth with that because it's just been so talked about so much on YouTube. So I'm not going to go too much into it. I do also have the Naked 2 palette. This is a little bit less used in my collection. I do appreciate they did do a matte black color in this palette, but I definitely think this is an all around fantastic palette to have in a collection and it's really good. The Naked 3 palette I also do have. This is actually a beautiful palette for brides. I love how soft and feminine all these colors look. And I would be careful if you're a beginner with this palette because a lot of its colors are very similar. But I do, um, I do love this palette equally as much as I do the other ones. Probably the lesser palette that I do use is the Naked Smoky palette, which looks like this. I kind of wish there were more... Uh, variants in colors and um, this is what it looks like. I'm like covering my mouth. <laughs> um, but I do like this palette. I do like how they have a mix of all different finishes, matte, shimmer, um, and satin. So is it my favorite palette that Urban Decay came out with? Definitely not. But um, it's good and I'm happy that I have it in my collection regardless. I have the Naked um, Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. That was a weird way to say that but I really do love this palette it is a beautiful all matte palette definitely nice and versatile and I definitely think you could create a lot a lot of different looks with this palette and I think it's essential to have in any makeup lovers collection because you really can never have enough mattes I do also have the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. This is a gorgeous palette. Love this thing to death. I kind of wish the pans themselves were a little bit bigger and I wish that there was like more pigmentation of the underneath color, but I think it's a beautiful palette if you are into glitter types of colors, so it's really nice. Also have the Urban Decay Regular Naked Basics palette, which looks like this. I am sadly running low on my Naked 2 color. This is probably my most used shade of the entire palette, but I bring this a lot when I go traveling. I definitely think it's an, a, a quintessential color variety of this palette. I recommend it a lot to my clients, and I think it's definitely worth it. These guys are going to be limited edition, which is pretty sad, but I still wanted to show them anyway in case you ever come across them. The Urban Decay Vice 2 palette I do have, and it opens up like this. And these colors, I gotta be honest with you, um, 
they're not my favorite combinations like there's a random green and there's some pink shades it's tough to solely work with just 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 this palette just by itself but I still like it I do use it from time to time so but I gotta be honest with you I like the vice 3 palette a little bit better I think the color variety in this palette is definitely a little stronger and I feel like you can create more looks with just solely using this palette so if you ever come across the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette again it is limited edition so I'm not really sure if and when you're able to see it or get your hands on it but if you ever do I know like Glambot sells like discontinued makeup from different brands if you ever come across it I definitely think it's worth um, getting Let's move on to Jeffree Star. I have the Beauty Killer palette, which looks like this. I think I created a tutorial, a makeup tutorial with this palette. This is what it looks like. Definitely want to get my hands on the Androgyny palette one day, but a beautiful palette all around, a great pigmentation, great colors. Love how large the pans are, so this palette is definitely, definitely really nice to have. I'm going to be going in a random order, but um, whatever. This is the Too Faced Pretty Rebel palette, which looks like this. Great all-around glittery types of shadows in here. I really do love the way that the pigmentation is quite unbelievable with this palette. Definitely an all-around uh, party type of palette if you're looking for like fun and different colors. I do like how they offer some neutral colors with some party colors so um it's a really nice palette i do use it from time to time and i think it's pretty good two of the lorac palettes i have the lorac pro palette it is definitely a wide variety of all different colors i really do use this palette a lot to be quite honest with you definitely something that i would recommend 1000 percent the lorac 2 pro palette is also really nice this is more cool tone so cool tone colors more warm tone colors i have both i use both and i love both so pigmentation is absolutely unbelievable with these palettes and i, I definitely think they are worth checking out i might even might even maybe one day buy backups for my freelancing kit to be quite honest with you that's how much i love these okay moving right along to some mac palettes now these i actually did make myself um these are all single shadows i do eventually want to get more i need one two three four four more colors to complete this palette but again it is a make your own palette i'm not gonna get into the um all of them right now because i want to complete the last row but um if you guys are really really curious to what shades i have let me know maybe i'll do a more in-depth video of the shades i have so but this is a palette that i do have very expensive palette <laughs> um but i definitely i really still do love mac um eyeshadows and I think they're worth it and I like how they drop down their price this was another palette that I have this is all MAC with the exception of this one but these are all my purpley palettes um purpley palettes purpley eyeshadows um so yeah that's what I have I do also have the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette. This is a beautiful palette if you are maybe a beginner. I love how they blend out. They are beautifully made. I just really, really strongly love this palette to death. I have this in my freelancing kit as well. And I definitely would recommend that palette 1000%. Speaking of Kat Von D, I have another limited edition palette. This is the Mi Vida Loca palette pretty big and the only thing I have to say with this palette you have to be extremely careful when you go to open up the uh when you go to open up the palette because sometimes if you're not careful you could like dig your nail into the actual shadows it's a very tough palette to travel with but nevertheless it is quite beautiful there is a good mix of some satin and some matte uh finishes in this palette i just really wish the packaging was a little bit better um it, it's kind of like tough to work with in my honest opinion it is limited edition again i um but i'm happy that i have it regardless i love colorful shadows to be quite honest with you so it's just a tough palette to work because of how big it is 
Um, what else? I have some Too Faced products to show you. These are the Chocolate Bar palette. Really, really do love this palette. Good variety of a couple different warm colors with some pops of shades. And I use this palette a lot at work, especially um, sometimes if like I'm back to back to back with appointments and I don't have to be, I don't have time to run around the store like crazy. And if my client wants a simple look, I'll grab this palette. Beautifully made, pigmentation's really nice. Um, so it's pretty good. The other Too Faced palette I have is the Sweet Peach palette. And I do really enjoy the colors in this palette. They are nice and warm. You could still do a lot of daytime looks and then evening looks. And a lot of these colors, you can even use them as um, highlights for your cheekbone area. So it's pretty good. I kind of like the original one a little bit better, but I'm happy that I have both regardless. An Urban Decay palette that I did forget to mention it was the Electric palette. You guys, this palette is my baby. I love this palette to death, and I really wish they would come out with a sequel to this palette. Um, I, I love this palette so much. I'm like speechless whenever I look at this palette. I just get so inspired to do so many looks with this. So if you want to see maybe like more tutorials with this palette, I'm not exactly sure if it's available still, um, but I definitely think it is um, two thumbs up for me have the coveted Modern Renaissance palette we all know and love. It is a beautiful warm tone palette. I do use this palette a lot on my clients as well and I can't get over how many times people come in and asking for this palette still. So beautiful palette. I definitely think it's worth it if you are into these types of colors. I do have the new two palette from The Bomb, which looks like this. And I gotta be very honest with you, this is not really um, a palette that I get inspired from. I feel like all these colors just look all similar. Um, but some once in a while, I try and use, you know, like one or two shades just to like physically use the palette. So is it my favorite palette from The Bomb? Not really, but I'm still happy because you never can have enough warm types of shades. Other palettes they have from Lorac. I really do enjoy Lorac pigmentation uh, shadows. This is the Unzipped Gold palette, which looks like this. Really do love the size of this palette. Nice and, you know, small, compact, nice to travel with. I appreciate how they have a lot of lighter tones and then the darker tones. This type of palette, you could definitely do a complete look with just this palette, which I always enjoy. I really hate sometimes when companies make palettes where you can't really do a lot with it. You know what I mean? Like there's not a lot of variety in the colors and I hate how some palettes don't have a lot of matte colors. So I appreciate the uh, Lorac types of palettes where you could do a single look with one palette. You guys know what I mean? I'm probably not wording that correctly, but I think you know what I mean. Um, this is the Lorac Unzip palette. More on the pinky red side. I do love the variety of colors. Definitely reminds me of the Naked 3 palette, but I kind of like the colors in this palette a little bit better. But I really do love Lorac. I gotta be very honest with you. Lorac is probably one of my favorite eyeshadow brands to work with. Couple things from Tarte. I have the Tarte Lip Palette. This is a fantastic all around great matte palette, great variety of lighter shades, darker shades. Uh, definitely can do a completed look with this palette. Love it to death. And then the Tartlet in Bloom palette, I recommend this a lot to clients. Really beautiful uh, quality and all different shades. This palette is fantastic, especially if you're a beginner. I love this palette and recommend it a lot for like moms who are looking like for gifts, like for their nieces or daughters or cousins or whatever. I think it's a great palette for like a teenager. Um, so it's really good. Another palette actually that I do have from Tarte. Um, this is the Tardius Pro palette. Love this. Oh my goodness gracious. This is a beautiful palette. I'm trying to like not blind you with the mirror. I'm so sorry if I am, but really love the variety of all the different lighter tones, darker tones, some shimmer tones. Again, a type of palette where you can do a whole look with just one palette. Love it, love it. Love the Balm Meat Matte palette. Little, uh, 
cute little guy on here. I really do enjoy this palette. It is a nice muted gray palette, if that makes sense. Nice and small, easy to work with. I use these uh, top three colors a lot. If I am waking up late getting ready for work, I just literally pop this all over my lid in the crease on the um, outer corner, done, liner mascara out the door. So great palette um, to travel with as well. Another Too Faced palette that I recommend a lot to work and gets a lot of love. This is the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette in the old school packaging. Um, I love this palette, you guys. This is a beautiful palette. I will put this in the crease, this guy on my lid, this guy on the um, outer corner of my eyes, and it is a fantastic palette. Again, I definitely think it's a nice palette for like, uh, a, a teenager like just starting off with makeup and a great everyday palette you could wear any type of uh, lip with this palette another palette that I really really enjoy from Too Faced is a peanut butter and jelly power palette I had a scour Ulta for this palette for so long I'm so happy that I have it in my collection the only thing with these types of palettes from Too Faced I wish that the the more fun colors were larger because I am not going to go through all of these and they said that it's bigger because it's more like a base of your shadows I don't know whatever I still love it I use it a lot that's that this is the Marc Jacobs the Lolita palette love this palette for brides this is a beautiful palette very luxurious this is one of the only Marc Jacobs palettes that I do own and I think the quality of this palette is absolutely stunning. I love the packaging of this. I think it's really nice and chic looking and I think it's fantastic. Other palettes that I have here, and I think we're actually almost done, um, this is a brand called Estee Edit, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Estee Edit is actually phasing out of Sephora, which is pretty sad, and I'm really happy that I um, got my hands on these. I don't know, I think this is called the... This is technically Glow Face and Eye Palette. Um, it came... These actually came together when you did buy them. Um, this, this, your, this. These are all highlighters, but without a doubt, you definitely can use them as eyeshadows. I do a lot myself. And then the Gritty Eye Palette, which looks like this. This palette I do... Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. I love this green color in here especially. Beautiful all over the lid. This in the crease and then this on the lower lash line. Easiest smoky eye ever. So I do love them. I'm not exactly sure if they're available. But again, if you can get your hands on it, I think they're worth it. I think the pigmentation is definitely worth it. This is a smaller palette from Kat Von D. But I personally feel anything with more than three colors is considered a palette and I have the plum palette um it's plum colors they're pretty much all purpley really easy type of look to do I feel though as if it's a one-shot deal type of palette there's not really a lot of variety you could do in with these types of palettes but I still love them I definitely think this all over the lid and then this in the crease this on the brow bone easy purple smoky eyes so is it totally worth it I think the packaging is kind of um I think the packaging is a little bit on the cheap side but I still like it I really am not a fan of this palette I still have to experiment it with it a little bit more this is the Laura Mercier editorial eye palette I feel like the colors look all so similar I was trying to do a first impression of this palette and I just hated the way it looked and I just deleted the footage but um, I have to experiment with this palette more. Again, this is from Laura Mercier, so well, whatever. This is one of probably the first palettes that I bought on Hot Look. Uh, this is from Urban Decay. I don't know exactly the name of this palette, but um, this is definitely kicking it old school. I do love using this color all over the lid. I definitely feel this is a palette um, that was inspired like from this like I feel like they're like brother and sisters like this is the older sister this is the younger sister um, but I think it's a great palette to have I don't have the heart to get rid of it I think it's um definitely just reminds me 
when I was first, first getting into online makeup shopping. I don't have the heart to get rid of this, so I, um, I use it from time to time, but whatever. I do have also the Stila in the moment eyeshadow palette. I don't think they long. I don't think they. I don't think they make this palette anymore. But I specifically love um, what's it called? This color, Glance, in the palette. This is a beautiful purple for all over the lid, and I really do love Spontaneous all over the lid too. I really wish they would make these palettes again. Packaging is not the bestest. I mean, I feel like it's a little bit on the cheap side, but I still love the colors in this palette. Definitely think it's worth it. And then I think, if I'm not mistaken, the last high-end palette that I do have is the Smashbox Shape Matters palette. Now, this palette, you are getting a mix of face um, contour highlight colors, and then all of these are your eyeshadows with some brow colors. I did do a whole review on this palette like way back when. I will have that linked down below if you're curious about this palette. Um, but I think it's all around great. It is a little bit bulky to travel with. Um, so I still think it's a nice palette, especially for someone who doesn't want to have a lot of other products like, you know, in their collection. You know what I mean? Like for that person who wants everything all in one, I definitely think the Shape Matter palette is quite good. So I think that's all I have. I'm not exactly sure if Juvia's Place is considered high-end, but I do have the Masquerade palette, which looks like this. And again, I'm not exactly sure if this is considered high-end, but I definitely think it's worth a mention, and I do love this palette to death. I definitely want to try and use more um, of this palette in tutorials, but I still wanted to feature it in this video because why not? And I think that's it, to be quite honest with you guys. If you have any questions on anything that I featured in this video, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see also tutorials on any of the paths that I mentioned in today's video, definitely let me know in the comments down below, of course, as always. And let me know as well if you would like to see more collection types of videos. I would definitely love to share my collection. And of course, I mean, I know this is not the type of video where, oh my god, I'm bragging how many palettes I have. I mean, come on. Really? 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 So I do read through my comments and I do respond to comments, so of course, let me know. And I really hope you get the chance to subscribe to my channel before you leave today. It would definitely make my day. And I think that's all I have to share with you guys. Again, I post every Monday and Thursday, and I shall see you in the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye!